The Pirate. The Pirate is a role for those who wish to live outside the law and basically live their own life to their own rules. It is for complete freedom, yet at the same time this role or this career path is going to be one of the most dangerous a player can choose to go down. So you may be wondering, hey that sounds pretty fun, freedom, you know, lawless, live by your own rules, out on the open space lanes with nothing to care about, you know, just taking what you want, when you want. Yeah, sure, if it, uh, you have the group of people to do it with, then yeah, it can be good fun, and yeah, it can be quite profitable, but at the same time, there are no honor amongst thieves. You gotta remember, those guys who may have your back now may want to turn on you later down the line. With that in mind, when searching for targets, it's important to find those in the lawless zones outside of the UEE's control because that'll be your primary target. If you target vessels within UEE held space, you might find yourself in hot water very quickly. So for your first target, your first target should be something regularly sized, say medium or large, to basically claim as your own, let's say, HQ ship, because let's say you have a Cutlass Black, you and your buddies have decided to become pirates, you've band together, maybe you're sick of doing your other careers or whatever, and you decided the criminal life is the one for you. You may want to go after a large vessel to claim, not only for its cargo, but for its hull as well, to double as your, your HQ ship, something you can then operate from and use the Cutlass as a, a raiding ship as it's as it's meant to be used. So I would target something on a planet surface if I was you, and that's my honest advice. That way, if it's a larger ship, it has a long time before it can basically break Atmo and try and quantum away, because you may not have the weapons to penetrate its shields right away. It's also important to try and get in its blind spots, because turrets on a ship like that will be able to rip you apart in no time if you're basically hanging around in its field of fire for way too long. Once you've done enough damage to the ship, its engines may give out, its primary engines, so it will then be incapable of leaving the planet's atmosphere. That also grants you more time to basically be more strategic about trying to get this ship on the ground that you're trying to harass. Also, at the same time, you need to be very careful about how much damage you take and whatnot and how much damage you do to this vessel because you might render it completely destroyed or broken beyond repair and that's not what you want if you're trying to basically get you know the ship's hull. If you're trying to get the cargo that might not be such a problem. But do take note, the longer you stay in a chase with said player, the higher the risk of their reinforcements arriving and the pilot of said trade vessel becoming more and more panicked and more frantic, therefore they'll be doing more you know, increasingly dangerous maneuvers and whatnot, knowing, starting to think that they may not be able to escape. Therefore, you know, why should they let you take their ship and their cargo without a fight? So they may try and do more risky maneuvers and whatnot. Now, also, trading damage is something you want to be very careful. If you take too much damage, you and your buddies might end up as toast, quite literally. Now, the more damage you do to said ship, the worse your reputation is going to get. And what I mean by this is, if you take down this ship and you pirate it, please note that this is a, a like this is a very highly criminal activity. You're you're going to be known as pirates, and when you go down that road, it's a slippery slope, and you'll see more of what I mean later down the line. So, you're pursuing said vessel, you're trying to take it out. The pilot's becoming more and more panicked. Eventually, you will do enough damage to said ship and its engines will give out, or something will give. You'll hit it enough times maybe with your sucker punch weapons and frazzle something. The crew might, you know, land the vessel, and they might, you know, give up. Highly doubt it though. Especially in the more lawless territories, you may find traders to be a little bit more battle-hardened and a little bit more aggressive. But once you have taken down your vessel and you've brought it down in a heap, you can then basically set a, set a plan for boarding said ship. It's important to note that, you know, give it a couple of flyovers a couple of times to make sure the turrets are no longer firing, because if they are, and you get out your ship, you're going to be mulched pretty darn quickly. So it's important not to basically run at your new prize too zealously and, you know, too overly excited, because you might just be met with two size fives to the face, <laughs> when you're walking down the street, basically, or walking down the space lanes, or, well, the dust in this case, the street. <laughs> but yeah, basically, once you have captured your new vessel, do a good walk around.
to, you know, make sure everything is basically at a feasible level where it can be repaired. When boarding the ship, it's incredibly important to make sure that there are no hostile life signs. In this case, this player may have had a marine on board, but he was incapacitated in the crash and is downed for whatever reason. The impact was too much for him, and he was thrown across the, the room of the ship, and he hit the wall, and then hit the floor, and was rendered unconscious. It'll be up to you to either kill said person, or basically drag them outside the ship and leave them on the dust bowl. The pilot may also be incapacitated, dead, or he may be still alive and trying to put up a fight, but in this circumstance, he's pretty much dead. So, once you have basically captured your new vessel, you'll also have all of the cargo on board that it may be holding, and you'll also have to do some running repairs to be able to get it to function and get off the ground once again. So you may be thinking, hold on, I've captured this ship, but won't it just go away once we all leave it? Well, what you can do is, in the more lawless areas of space, you will be able to take it to someone like an NPC that will be able to give you some fake tags for your ship and so you can get a very very basic level of insurance on the vessel on your new stolen ship. Now you'll mainly be operating in the lawless sectors of space just outside the main UEE held areas. Think more of like the frontier. That's basically where you'll be operating. When you expand you then may be able to move more towards UEE held space and do more daring raids. But for the meantime, you're going to want to take control of a medium to large vessel to double as your base. Once you have done this, you'll then be on the first step to basically forging your pirate empire or, you know, making the size of your group larger. Because piracy as a career path is very much a group activity. You maybe want to head to the stations, like maybe known stations for pirates and other undesirables to recruit other players and hire NPCs from. If you do decide to go for a full player group, you'll need to really make a convincing argument why they should join you and not go and serve their own purposes and maybe, you know, go off and do their own thing. You'll need to basically make a really strong argument and case that if they were to come with you, they would make more money and it'd be more profitable and whatnot, and you know, the fact that there's more of you, there'll be more stuff you can do and stuff. And you may find a few individuals who kind of clash with that, and it'll be up to you to really be a good judge of character of who's going to stab you in the back in the long run. But once you do have your group together, you'll have more of a formidable force. L it lessens the chances of you guys being hunted by bounty hunters, like solo bounty hunters and whatnot, because there's so many of you that you're just too many targets for them to bring down. It's too dangerous for them. Because bounty hunters were operated on a, you know, risk versus reward basis. A lot like pirates, but in a different way. So once you have your pirate empire slowly growing, you'll be able to do more daring raids and whatnot, and maybe go after more targets that are, you know, slightly harder to catch. Say a freelancer max, because it has huge engines and other components on board, you'll be able to sell, so you'll want to maybe capture the ship. So you guys will be able to train and practice on smaller fry that are in maybe asteroid belts and whatnot, just on the edge of UEE held space. Now when boarding ships in space, it's same drill, but you have to be a little bit more careful. You'll need to know where all the entry and exit points are for said ship. Now fear will be your second most powerful weapon. Fear is what's going to keep either the, either the enemy player inside their ship, the trader, the mining guy, or the salvage guy, or whoever you're trying to attack. Fear will keep him basically under control, because if you're not scary enough, he'll start waxing your dudes pretty quick, and, you know, that's not fun for anyone. If you start losing your friends and your, your other fellow pirates, then eventually they'll start to question your leadership, and that is very bad indeed. But, you know, if you use your tactics and you know where all the entry and exit points are of most vessels, then you should be able to subdue the crew relatively easily. Once you have done that, you will then reach a real turning point in the road. And what I mean by that is, if you choose to either maybe spare said trader, he can go and get mercenaries or bounty hunters and put a huge cash reward for killing you in out of vengeance or spite, you know, like because you stole his ship. But, if you kill him, your reputation will spread like wildfire that you are this, you know, this ruthless pirate who must be put, put down quickly because you're out of control. 
At the same time, you may gain more respect from your other players and crew members for, you know, being more brutal. But there's, there's you know, swings and roundabouts. There's positives and negatives to all these things. The worse your reputation gets, and the more ruthless you become, the more attention you will draw to yourself from maybe anti-piracy guilds, like group, large groups of players who hunt pirates specifically. So once you've maybe, you know, hit a few raids and been very successful and whatnot, and you and your group are starting to make money, that you may come across a dry period. And that's, that's what's going to be really detrimental to you and your group. A lot of your guys in your guild might be a little bit more, let's say, fight hungry than most because you know they chose to be pirates they want to be destroying stuff and stealing stuff and making profit there will be periods of time where you may not be able to find decent enough targets or targets that basically are soft enough for you to get you'll also need to do your own repairs on your ships because there's not going to be many locations for you to get your stuff fixed at with your reputations so having an engineer handy is is pretty useful so you can do running repairs while you're on the move so when you're in long periods of quantum, it'll be a chance for you to really get to know your other players in your group as you expand your pirate guild, let's say. So you may be a solo pirate player and you may join a group and it'll get, give you a chance to really get to know the other pirates in the group. But as a whole, your reputations will start to degrade and you'll become more and more, you know, synonymous with, you know, crime and violence and all this type of stuff. and. Eventually, it'll become nearly impossible for you to enter UEE held space. You can forget about trying to buy military grade components from the UEE because there's no way in hell. But you will be able to get better introductory, say, uh, components and stuff for catching people and things like that. So, there will be drunk, long periods of you guys just flying along, and you may be on the run for most of your time, trying to basically outrun either anti piracy groups or large mercenary groups, or large bounty hunter groups, or even other pirates. You can't trust other pirate groups because they might just be after you to wipe you out and basically boost their reputations as the number one most wanted maybe in that sector or whatever. So you may find yourself basically setting down on planets here and there and making temporary bases, you know, for you guys to all maybe log out and whatnot and um, repair your ships and stuff. That's basically what will happen when you're on the run. You'll basically need to set up a mobile base, you know, fix your ships, maybe even, you know, meet new people and whatnot, but the worst case scenario is a mutiny. Say things do not go well, things start to go wrong. What'll happen is your large group may split and divide and everybody will be out for themselves. There'll be maybe three or four people all saying they should lead the group and then all chaos breaks loose. You have gunfights on board your ships, your fleet is now trying to kill each other, all manner of chaos breaks loose. And, and that scenario is basically every man for himself. So this is another problem with being a pirate, is you can't really trust the other people you may have just met too much. You may have been moving with them for maybe a week or a month, it doesn't mean they're not going to try to kill you and take your stuff. And at the end of the day, if they prove to be successful, there'll be a new leader of the pirate group and you'll be perma-dead. <laughs> so when, when the, with a game like that has permadeath and all these you know, reputation mechanics and whatnot, piracy is a very, very serious thing to consider. Like, you know, like with all of its risks. There are rewards and whatnot, and yeah, you'll be sort of living free-ish, but at the same time, there are so many risks and stuff, because if your pirate groups maybe dismantles or disbands or maybe you decide to go to a planet that has you know a UE presence with just you and a couple of buddies you might find yourselves being tracked by pirates and your every move being watched and eventually they may catch you off guard destroying your own means of escape and it'll be just you versus the bounty hunters and these bounty hunters will be basically equipped for the job they'll they'll put you down and then they'll basically kill you or take you in alive but chances are if your reputation's awful They'll just wax you, and then that's the end of it. They'll blow your head clean off, and then it's pretty much game over. So yeah, that's that's the pirate in a nutshell, pretty much. Now, this is the basics of piracy. I'm going to be doing another video on this matter. So this is more of an entry video to give you guys sort of an idea and a feel for the environment that you'll be going through. So I would like to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Privates are Brandon Manuel, Corporals are David Toombs, and Andrew Burton. I cannot thank you guys so much enough for supporting the channel. You guys have done amazing. Thank you. 
Also, in the credits here, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been helping me with these videos. The org has been doing absolutely amazing with these, with, the, with like, you know, the videos. As you can see, they've, uh, they've put a lot of work into flying and uh, shooting each other in the face many times to get the right shot. And yeah, they've done an amazing job, so I'd just like to say a huge thank you to them. If you guys are interested watching the video on joining an org, a anti-piracy org, funnily enough, then check out the Death Corp Strike Unit. It's the organization I run, and uh, yeah, we do videos, and we hunt pirates, and we do all that good stuff. So yeah, give it a, give it a look if you can. So also, if you would like to maybe support the channel, please check out the Patreon page in the description below. And you can choose to basically, you know, support the channel for more of a direct means. If you like the videos I make, please subscribe and leave a like. And let me know what you think. Uh, put some comments in the comment section below and we'll start a dialogue and we'll have a chat. And, you know, give me your thoughts on piracy and what you'd like to see in the next piracy video. Because these are the role videos and I'm doing the very basics first and then I'll cover them more in depth. So if you are interested in going to a bar citizen... Check out the one in Texas, if you are in Texas, of course, uh, San Antonio. There is a large bar citizen group run by members of the org. They're really nice people, really awesome to get involved with. Um, I believe the next event, uh, as of the making of this video, is one where some of the guys from CIG will also be attending. So maybe you can meet them and have a chat and have a good time and whatnot. So yeah, definitely check it out. Bar Citizen San Antonio. Really good, solid group of individuals. Really, really nice people. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching the video and sticking it out to the end. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the support. So let's keep on cranking out these videos, kicking ass and taking names. And I'll see you in the next one. So you know the drill, Commander. Fly safe. And I'll see you in the verse.